If a building contractor breaches a construction contract by performing defective or incomplete work, the non-breaching party might ask the court for a decree of specific performance, ordering the contractor to do the job right. London Bucket Company v. Stewart explained why the court is unlikely to grant that remedy. Walter Stewart and London Bucket Company entered a construction contract under which London Bucket was to furnish and install a heating system for a motel. London Bucket agreed to supervise all the installation work and guaranteed that the heating system would heat the motel to 75 degrees in the winter. A short time later, Stewart brought a breach of contract action against London Bucket in Kentucky State Court. Stewart alleged that London Bucket never completed the heating system installation and that the partially installed heating system was of an inferior size and quality that wouldn't perform at the agreed-upon level. Stewart sought specific performance of the contract, requesting that the court order London Bucket to complete the installation and furnish a properly functioning heating system as promised, before the weather turned cold. Stewart's complaint also requested damages of over $8,000. But when the court required Stewart to choose between pursuing a claim for specific performance and a claim for money damages, Stewart chose to pursue specific performance and dismissed his damages claim. The court found that the installation work was defective, that the heating system didn't work properly, and that London Bucket hadn't finished the job as promised. The court entered a judgment decreeing specific performance and ordering London Bucket to perform its obligations under the contract. London Bucket appealed to the Kentucky Court of Appeals, arguing that specific performance wasn't an appropriate remedy for the breach of the party's contract. 